Hey. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late. Work has overflowed into not work time. So I figured today, oh, let me get my headphones. I'm probably echoing without them. Be right back. Oh, I didn't change the. Uh, let me. Let me just stop this. I didn't change the description. What a dummy. Whew. See, totally unorganized. There we go. Uh, so I figured today I'd do maybe some Bioforge. Maybe I'll keep it so I do Alien Legacy on Tuesdays. I'll do Soldier of Fortune on Saturdays. And Thursdays I'll do something different. I'll do Bioforge. I don't know if it's a bad idea to have three different games going. But, I don't know, it's more fun for me. And I get to play more games. And I, I like games. So, let me find my headphones. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I couldn't find them. I don't know how I've misplaced big honking headphones, but I, I did. So I'm using these little dudes now. Um. Let's get some drink. Hmm? Uh, oh, my 
air is a bit of a mess, but oh well. Cool. Let's get started. For some reason DOSBox always takes a, or I mean OBS takes a, a weird amount of time to actually display the game. Let's see. Yeah, that looks cool. Figured today we would try Bioforge. This is a game that I did play as a, a youngster. I don't know how old I must have been. M must have been now middle school or, or earlier. So I was really young. I never beat it. All I remember is I died a lot. Um, I suspect this will be very difficult and I will die a lot um, even now so we can look forward to that this is a marine dropship Ronick to control making final approach for delivery of supply requisition B9 stroke 3 so loud and prisoner AP 127 this is control to Marine Dropship Ronick. Landing platform is in position. You are cleared to land, Ronick. Looks a little bit weird. dead.
like I said, I remember this being very difficult. So I feel like I should go easy. You know, I have older games just that were really hardcore difficulty. So should we try medium? Oh man. Let's do medium. I hope I don't regret that. So, this is a little bit of a weird game because normally everything is done from the numpad. I do not have a numpad, there's a 10 keyless keyboard, so it's a real struggle. Um, so I'm using arrow keys to move. Home and page up move me forward and to the sides. Let's see. End and page down straight. I is inventory. P is this. Sure, let's save. Sure. Robo be down. Um. A log book. <laughs> A log book. I know what they'll do to me. They'll mutilate my flesh and make it into something inhuman. They can completely alter the state of my mind, but they shall not break my spirit. I am determined. I swear with every ounce of my will that who I am, my internal nature, cannot be twisted or cut out of me. No matter what occurs, I'll remain unchanged. Uh, well, okay, that's pretty neat. Put that away. A hunk of meat. A hunk of meat. Uh, we'll save that. I think we can eat that to heal. Um, let's see, how do I run? Okay. Shift is sprint. Nice. The one normal control. Us I for inventory is pretty normal. Uh, now, to be honest, right over here, this is where I remember dying. Um, just over and over and over. I don't think I ever got past this dude. If Earth you come from the fork, you'll be sorely disappointed. If I come from the what? Severed arm. A severed arm. I'm pretty sure they would have if to go kill him. From the fork, you'll be sorely disappointed. 
so there's something cool in there. There's maybe something cool in there. What is this? Okay, it's just a weird dead end. Controls. It's awful. like we're making any progress. It's like it's a little bit loud. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to run in here. Is that because we opened that door slightly? The reactor actually going to overload and blow up everything now. Um, okay. We're in fisticuffs mode. Yeah, take that. We should not be enemies. We should work together. <laughs> we should work together. I have no wish to harm you. I have no wish to harm you. You stand upon holy ground. It's fitting you should kneel. You're hitting yourself. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is so janky. You have two arms. One must be removed. No, oh, no, no, no. Stop. I don't even know how I did that. I shall pattern my life after the random looping of your entrails. What? He killed me. See? This is what I told you. I just remember dying over and over and over right here. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, we haven't picked up this. a logbook. A logbook. Yeah, 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 a logbook. No, no, no. A logbook. A hunk of meat. A hunk of meat. Severed arm. I have a journal. Uh, so let's see, what word is this? I've noticed a significant response problem whenever I repeat the same combat motion. Why should this be? Is it an energy problem or are my internal systems badly engineered? I must remember not to repeat my tactics while in battle. Okay. So we should not, I guess, repeat the same move over and over. I heard a cry of agony from beyond my cell. A guard? Another prisoner? Did I write what's in this book here in my cell? I don't remember writing it. It sort of sounds like me. It's hard to tell without any basis of comparison. My body is some sort of machine. 
but I can tell that I was once human. I am a cyborg. Who made me this way? Why did they? How could I have let them? The prisoner in the cell next to mine lost his arm trying to escape. His force bars must be set to a much more lethal intensity than in my cell. Okay. Cool. Okay, we can save. Let's save in a different slot. over there and just hightail it out. Too late to restart with easy combat. Mm. We'll keep trying. What am I not understanding? They sound like a wildcat. Oh crap, no. I have no wish to harm you. Oh, come on. You stand upon holy ground. It's fitting you should kneel. We're just not quite facing him. I have my life after the random looping of your entrails. Yeah, good for you, man. Thought we were doing so well that time. Work together. 
I have no wish to harm you. We should not be enemies. We should work together. I'm trying to give me the hint that like there's some way to work with him. holy ground. It's fitting you should kneel. I have no wish to harm you. I kind of we do want to harm him. We should work. I have no wish to harm you. I'm sorry, my friend. We are both victims, you and I. Sure. You said it was a fork. Yeah. Okay. A fork. The utensil is unsanitary. A photograph. Look at this photograph. J1892-1120. I can still hear Dane in the other cell. They beat him pretty bad. So bad that they called down from control and ordered them to stop. I should be treated a little better than that. It's unfitting for any Mondite to die in a place like this. I don't know why I'm writing this down. This log is the only thing I have in my cell besides the picture. Pretty. I wish I knew her name. Some other day. I guess I always believed that my former comrades would show me mercy. Oh no, I stopped reading. Would show me mercy, for I was once one of them. Now I know the exact opposite is true. They see me as a traitor, while they're very capable of inflicting cruelty on a total stranger. As I, as was I when I was one of them. It was just as likely that they wouldn't... Wait, what? Did I read that totally wrong? While they're very capable of inflicting cruelty on a total stranger, as was I when I was one of them, it was just as likely that they wouldn't... Okay. In my case, they specifically seek out some horrible form of revenge for me. I can't be saved by fate or random chance. I wish they'd just get it over with. They tell me I'm to be turned over to Mastaba. He's a butcher, a psychotic. Those goons can gibber all they want. I can see in their eyes that I'm not the only one afraid of him. I refuse to believe it. It has to be some form of psychological torture. They must be reading this. Do you hear me, Mert? I know you're bluffing. Amdan, you... Pederast, you don't frighten me. I'm being pe I'm being prepped for surgery. Ah, uh, hey Ace. I keep on putting away this logbook I'm trying to read. The controls are just a little bit wacky. prepped for surgery. I resisted the shocks and injections as best I could, but they won. In a minute, they'll be back to take me to the control level. I wonder if they're planning to do the same to Dane. I wonder how the patient in cell 3 feels right now. I think that's us. I think we were the patient in cell 3. They did it. It's over. Is that the worst you can do, Mustaba, you bastard? I dreamed I was back home. My parents were still alive. I'm exhausted and in pain, but I feel like I can pull through this. I need to rest. They actually left food for me. I'm not hungry. 
Too tired to get it anyways. Need more sleep. Somebody rigged one of the tower bots with an injector and wired in a med software box. It looks like Eng's work. My own private nurse. If I try to get up, it will inject me with who knows what. If I lie down, it seems to leave me alone. My skull feels like it's about to split open. I want to sleep, but I can't. Wow, this is really long. Oh, that sounds awesome, Ace! That damn robot is watching me every second. It won't let me get up. I just have to punch it, dude. Mastaba came by to examine me. He looked upset, perhaps disappointed. Whatever he tried to do to me must not have taken right. They can't operate on me again. I'm too weak now. It'll kill me. Something's wrong. I'm hearing a weird trilling noise. It changes pitch from high to low, sometimes in patterns of short bursts, and other times in long and constant noise. It's taken me nearly an hour of lying here on this bunk to figure out that it isn't coming from anywhere in the cell. It's in my head. My skin itches all over. It's impossible to lie still. I want to peel it off with my fingers. I'm trying to block out the noise and think of something else, but I can't. I just want to sleep. Why won't they let me sleep? What'd they do to me? The robot won't let me off the bed. I know they're watching me on the monitor. The noise in my head is careening out of control. There's blood all over my fingers from the scratching. Maybe they've invented some terrible new way to die, and I'm the first one they've ever tried it on. I just wish it would... I wish it would just happen right now. It's all stopped. It's very quiet. I must rest. It's a very bizarre practical joke. That's the only logical explanation. I love the color. Blue has always been my favorite. So, okay, so I guess he wasn't always blue. He was turned blue by these experiments. I've just read back the entire contents of this journal. I will assume that because I'm blue, as is the author from the last entry, that I am the person who wrote it. I may be mistaken about that. I'm not sure. Despite the confinement, I have to say that I'm very much enjoying this situation. Now that the last of my old thoughts and memories have been erased from my mind, I'm finally free. Free to become the person that I originally always was. It is a very liberating concept. I saw Father again while I was asleep. He wore a red mask. We talked for a while, and he warned me about this fellow Mastaba that I read about in the book. I don't dream about Mother anymore. Mother fusses over me so. Every time I try to leave my bed, she tucks me back in. I wish she'd try to stop treating me like a child. So he sees the robot as Mother. Who did he see as father? So whoever he's hallucinating as his father warned him about Mastaba, so it probably isn't Mastaba? But who is it? Something terrible has happened. I want to go for a walk around the room. Yo, what up? Mother said I should rest. We started arguing in a fit of anger. I killed her. What shall I do now? How long is this log? Hmm, maybe I'll just skim the rest. Uh, so he killed the, the nanny robot. And, uh, come on, I just want to finish reading this log. Oh, it 
so long. Yeah, screw it. Hopefully there's nothing I need in that log. Like, I don't know, codes or something. Uh, I guess we're kind of bloody. We should eat some spoiled meat. I can't tell. Mm. It doesn't use up the meat. What? I didn't stream yesterday. Can you not see the stream right now? Yeah, I, uh, I'm just doing Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. No, don't drop it. A hunk of meat. A hunk of meat. A hunk of meat. I don't actually know where to go now. I guess there's probably something we can do with this fork. Yeah, it's that guy's arm. Um, I found his arm right in front of his cell. And uh, took it and then beat him to death with it. Oh, his name's apparently Kanan. Kanan is the blue dude. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Oh, that is weird. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. I mean, it could just be um like to have the bottom of the list because I don't usually have a whole lot of viewers. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Okay, cool. We did get further. Fork is helpful. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Oh, what is this? Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Um. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. We should probably save. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Yeah. Let's try this again. Uh, is that all I need to do? Oh, that didn't finish opening the door, though. What did that actually accomplish? Some way to heal myself. This is control to marine dropship running. Yeah. Landing platform is in position. You are clear to A land severed arm. running. A severed arm. This is marine dropship running. A severed now arm. Final approach. Oh my god. Marine dropship Chelio standing by. Put down the arm. You guys better hurry. Another prisoner has escaped. I'm looking at him on the monitor now. Oh. A severed in arm. The guard he must not reach the excavation site. A severed arm. We're, tight. we're almost there. And we're bringing a little extra firepower to deal with your escape prisoner. He's gonna be <laughs> a no severed arm. at all. Stop picking up the arm. Warning. I'm gonna reactor interact with other things. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor oh, okay. breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload 
Okay. Yes, we have control of one of those nanny robots. Overload imminent. This is a restricted area. 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 Please stop repeating that. This is a restricted area. 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 Oh my god. This is a restricted area. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Um. Overload imminent. Warning. Okay. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. I don't know about that. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> so which of these rooms should we just manipulate that robot in? Punch it. No. Oh, okay, I can turn off the force bars. Sweet. Cell, right? Improved with formula 4A three times daily, six injections of serum 33 four times daily, and force rest with sedation if needed. Restrain left arm prior to entry. Project ABBA. Classified. Okay, so this is the one that we couldn't lower the bars for. Inject legs with lubricant RE4 twice daily. Feed meat products only. Sure. That's what it's in for. Feed with formula. Subject to undergo final transformation. Alright. bars on these. I wonder if I could have um, spared that dude's life and just lowered his bars. And then we could have escaped together. Uh, neither? A severed arm. Neither. I didn't uh, actually even vote last election. If I did vote, it would have probably been Biden, but um, I was very dissatisfied with the choices. A logbook. A logbook. Ensign. Arctic Dane. 
Okay, so this guy was like a co-worker with the blue man that we killed. Actually, if I voted, I probably would have voted for a random like third party candidate. Even though it's a complete waste. I am, though, happy that, um, at the very least, I think as far as internationally, Biden will be a lot less embarrassing, so. Why are all the logs so long? this possibly have a severed arm this thing can um, maybe open this door? I don't know how. I guess it needs a handprint. This is a restricted area. Oh wait, that's how I can see my health. No. What button did I press to bring that up? There's a credits button. Okay then. And again, just restarts the credits, so I guess I'm I'm watching them now. I wonder if we can punch this guy into those bars. that. Come on. So 
bars to my cell I broke by pushing a robot into them. I'm hoping I can push him into it and it will break the bars. I can't even see what I'm doing anymore. I don't think I'm accomplishing anything. It's like everyone's dead almost. What happened to Mastaba? Did Mastaba go insane and he is now turning everyone to cyborgs? So the blue guy was on security team 2, has access revoked, which is why his hand does not work. Gonna be something in someone's log. Come on. Sensor reading. Results of tremors have rendered lower levels structurally unsound and impassable. System damage. Multiple systems damaged throughout base by sixth tremor. System damage. Short and force bar system on cell one of cell block. System damage. Malfunction in lighting system of cell two. Short and force bar system of cell three. Cell block doors breached. Oh, okay. Do you show where people are? Or... Oh, yeah, hurry. Are you doing more Dead by Daylight, Ace? Oh, but yeah, yeah, get on out of here. Thing to finish his surgical operation with a handful of guards for protection. Okay, I don't 
kind of what we accomplished there. Emergency. All other overrides below command. Level one codes were sent in. like the code we need somewhere in this text. dug from itself down into the water tanks. So that's, I guess, the prisoner in the ASL too. This has a lot of log entries. Ugh. Well, maybe whatever we repaired will have done something. Find the security code. brute force it, but I don't think that's the way to do it. Langley is in the control room. Okay, so there are still a couple of people alive. automatic will attack me. Severed arm. <laughs> no! Oh my. Yeah, so that really screwed us up. 
Yeah, we can't run anymore. Oh no. at all. Oh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can save the blue guy. Go in, just grab the knife, and then get out. It's a fork, all right. Probably gonna regret dropping a guy's arm. Okay, yeah, I can return that fork. You can have the fork. A 
severed arm. <laughs> he's free, I wonder why he's just staying in there. I just thought I was into this water. Okay, what if I move the robot under the water? Can I short it? I didn't go pick up the stuff in Dan's room. works. It's hard to tell whether it's in the right spot. No. Maybe it did nothing. Severed arm. So let's move the robot hopefully into the water drip. I think we're right under it. Is that just not going to do anything? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we did somehow create these strange black lines that don't look like they should be there. Severed arm. Specifically, were we repairing? Okay, so does that mean that we have lighting in cell two now? I don't know 
which viz are things I can repair. <laughs> all the cells. The lights are on now. Let's see if we can see some on the cameras. I feel like we're at least doing something. Um, so what, this guy, they found him at the excavation site. He was in some sort of sarcophagus? Is that a robot or a person that's dead there? up stuff. And I can do a cheeky stab. Can we pick up this thing that's right through the bars? Get from anything? 
have to, I think, get into here. But how? That's weird. So we react to it. be something with this robot. We just need to get it pixel perfect under there. Severed arm. go into his cell and play the flute. A flute? Play this everywhere. Useless. So can we throw things? A severed arm. Is there another panel we can open somewhere, maybe? Let's get 
that fork again. Severed arm. Put that thing. Let's go grab everything else. We'll actually read Dane's logbook. This is Ensign Mardik Dane of the Reticulum Merchant Ship Stellani Agrippus reporting. I'm writing this account in the unlikely event that it should ever find its way into the hands of the proper authorities. No doubt they are watching from the camera in my cell as I write. Fifteen days ago we left Stralin, bound for Bormag, carrying medical supplies. Our trip had been uneventful until we experienced a small electrical fire in one of the subdecks that was quickly extinguished. What we didn't know at the time was that this fire had caused a power surge which traveled through our entire subsystems network and wiped a vital portion of data from our jump calculator. The emission of data was so slight that it was not detected by our redundant systems until after we had already made the jump to hyperspace. The strain placed upon our engines by the improperly calculated jump was so great, so great that it took nearly 36 hours to power them down once the jump was underway. It is possible that while in this jump we passed near some sort of spatial singularity, which slingshotted us far beyond our normal jump capacity, 
when we finally returned to normal space, we had not only wandered off all charts, but we were also critically low on fuel. It's possible, although extremely unlikely, that RMF, Rescue and Recovery, could have calculated our position this far. There were no occupied planets within range of our detection, and our jump driver was rendered inoperable. We set course for the nearest solar system. We subsisted on minimal rations and power, broadcasting a distress signal. After 11 days of boosting our transmission to its maximum, there was no response. Then it appeared as if a miracle had occurred. As we neared a gas giant, we received confirmation that our distress signal had been picked up. We celebrated, believing help was on the way. The next day, we were attacked by two small military-type dropships. We did not intend to become the first RMF ship in history to surrender to pirates, so we fought back. The first dropship was destroyed, but we lost our weapons and propulsion to a missile barrage. From the second one. Seven of our 27 members of our crew died in the battle, including Lieutenant Lynn Nance? Maybe? Lynn Nance? We were dead in the water. It was then that we learned the identity of our attackers, Mondites. We were boarded and 11 more members of our crew died in the room by, in the room, by room combat that followed over the next several hours. Among the next, uh, among the dead was our captain. What letter is that supposed to be? I wonder. Lisan Rimerak, and our first officer, Findlay Smiles. This sad set of circumstances left me in command of the survivors. Two more men died as we attempted to reach the lifeboat. Our only means of escape cut off, and facing a full company of armed marines, I gave the order to surrender. Three of my men directly disobeyed my order and were subsequently killed by the attackers. During that exchange, another man attempting to surrender was also killed. The mercenaries then proceeded to raid a portion of our cargo, took the remaining three of us onto their ship, and blew what was left of the Agrippus into wreckage. She was 17 months away from being decommissioned. When I returned from this voyage in three months, I was to be married to my fiance, Lav Lavna. L Lana? I don't know. I don't believe either one of us will be making it. The leader of this base is a man whom I believe to be a surgeon. I have seen him only once when we were first brought here. He seemed very unconcerned with our presence, like he was preoccupied with something. The base seems to be a strange mixture of digging equipment, medical facilities, and little else. The world we are on is called Daedalus. Daedalus. It is certainly beyond the reach of the reticulum. It has probably never even been charted. Apparently, it is run by an independent group of Mondites who are carrying out some sort of secret operation here. They obviously saw our accidental presence as a security threat. The only thing I do not understand is why they have left us alive. They must not suspect us of spying, because none of us have been questioned. The Reticulum has historically been highly unresponsive to the taking of political prisoners or hostages. I'm certain we shall be quite worthless as a bargaining chip, but we must be of some use to them. As seen during the last moments of the Agrippa, simple mercy is not something that is characteristic among Mondites. Entry 3. It is impossible to judge the passage of time here. There is no view of the outside, and our lights are kept on constantly. We sleep in shifts at varying times and lengths. It is useless to count them. We have been here for days. Could it be weeks? Today, the three of us were escorted under armed guard and taken to some sort of medical center and physically examined. Once all of us were pronounced suitable, we were injected with some sort of chemical compound in one man a cargo handling specialist named Klima. It caused a devastating pain which left him writhing on the floor. He just lay there and could not get up, paralyzed with agony. In the other one, Parks, a systems maintenance tech, it caused what must have been horrifying hallucinations. He looked around constantly, sometimes dodging things that weren't even there, waving his arms. I just sat there, waiting to find out what would happen to me. A strange calm just came over me as I watched the other two go through their internal tortures. After several hours, it was over, and they took us back to our cells. Entry 4. More tests, the same as before. I saw the surgeon again, the base leader. 
He said the other results were inconclusive. Parks begged them not to inject him again. He fought them. I wanted to help him, but by then my injection had kicked in. All I could do was sit there passively as they forcibly injected him with the chemicals. This round of hallucinations were evidently more terrifying than the first, though. They had barely left the room when he began shrieking at the top of his lungs. He screamed and screamed until his voice completely broke, and then he was reduced to making these low, guttural hisses. Klima had long since passed out from the pain, so I was the only one in the room to watch what happened next. I tried speaking to Parks several times, but he never once answered me. He just rolled around and around on the floor until I noticed the blood. It wasn't until the disturbance brought the guards back that I saw what had really happened. Parks had clawed out his eyes. He was laughing like an idiot when they took him away. It was the last time I saw him. Parks' cell is now empty. Only Klima and I remain. Entry 5. The leader of the base is a surgeon. His name is Mastaba. I demanded to know where Parks was. His only response was, In the lake. The lake? He was utterly undisturbed by the fact that by the fact that I am a merchant officer, or that he has killed crewmen and destroyed a ship of the RMF and interfered with the circuit reticulum. The mercs had read our records. The reticulum would merely assume that we were lost in the jump. He looked at me from behind the blood red mask he wore. I have claimed your ship, its crew, and their respective remains by rights of salvage. That having been done, you're now my property. Entry 6. The medical tests are becoming increasingly torturous now. I was sedated and taken to the medical room. There, all I remember is seeing some kind of robot, then nothing but a dream about Lavna. Her face, her dress, just like on the night the picture was taken. When I awoke, I had been returned to my cell. Only now, I feel like my insides have been crushed and I'm marked with a series of scars across my midsection. Klima does not respond when I call to him in his cell. Maybe they have him now. No one will tell me what they're doing to us, but I already know. Exploratory surgery. But why? They've tortured us all on a regular basis, but they've yet to ask us a single question. Entry 7. I was taken back to the medical room strapped onto the operating table and injected with something that made me increasingly lightheaded. This time, Mastaba was there in person. Only I couldn't see him. I could only hear his voice telling me that this was the last of the preliminary examinations. If I completed this final test, I would be ready. He didn't tell me for what. I demanded to know where Klima was. His response was, <laughs> he died. On that table you're lying on. Now he's with your other friend in the lake. Before I could say anything, I saw the arm of the robot come down over my body. I felt completely detached and unable to move as it began to burn an incision into my stomach. Mastaba stepped forward and reached inside of me. He turned to me and asked, This is just the beginning. I promise you there'll be a lot to see. Would you like to stay awake? stared into his eyes for what seemed like hours. No, I whispered. When I woke, I was back in my cell, alone. Entry 8. There's a new prisoner in the cell across from me. I cannot see him. He's lying unconscious in his bunk. At first, I thought it might be Klima or Parks, maybe another crewman from the Agrippa that managed to survive. But it wasn't. I've never seen this man before. Entry 9. There's something very large being moved to the cell next to mine. Parks must really be gone if they're putting his old cell to use. Whatever this thing is, it's enormously heavy. Judging by the number of people and the equipment they need to move it. Supervising this operation is another Mondite scientist. There's dirt on her uniform, as if she'd been digging. I heard someone call her Dr. Escher. Ordering the men for her is the head guard that lurks around this cell block. His name is Kanan. Whatever's going into that other cell, certainly. Sounds like it's a major security problem. 
Entry 10. Just starting to get my strength back from Dr. Mastaba's damned examinations. I saw Kanan walking through the cell block. What's in that cell? I asked him. Just something that'll probably kill us all. Nothing for you to worry about. Entry 11. The man in cell 3 is either still unconscious or he keeps to himself. He does not respond when I call out to him. Over the last few days, I've seen Kanan walking around here looking increasingly nervous. I try to catch his attention, perhaps speak with him again, but he's all business. Still, there's something different about him. His expression doesn't have the cold acceptance of the other guards. He is intensely in thought, and each moment is a jolt of released tension. How pathetic that my entire existence has been reduced to brief glimpses of people in the outside world. For all I know, I'm imagining these little things in an attempt to occupy my mind to save it from the heart-stopping emptiness of imprisonment. I must hold on to the hope that I shall see Lavna again. For the sake of my sanity, I must hold on to that hope. Entry 12 The camera's off, said the voice, and I was surprised to see Kanan standing outside my cell. They'll never let you out of here. Never alive, you know that? I nodded. Kanan's eyes stared out into nowhere. I've... I've seen things. The things they're finding. More of them every day. Nightmarish, I... I mean, I thought what we do here was terrible enough. Do you want to get out? I was overwhelmed with confusion and disbelief. Kanan stared at me, and I could see the realization come over him. He was thinking maybe he'd made a mistake, and that I might try to save my life by turning him in. As an officer, and a gentleman, I never considered this as an option. When I cleared my head from the shock of what he was saying, I managed to give an approximation of a nod. They say you're a flight officer, Kanan said hopefully. Ensign, RMF, I replied, snapping to attention and saluting him with my academy best. It was his turn to give me a strange look. Can you pilot a, a dropship like the one you came here on? I could. There's a dropship out on the platform. She was brought in on autopilot for maintenance. The crew and marines on board are all in cold storage. You need to understand, we only get one shot at this. My ears strained to hear anyone else that might be listening. When, I said... First, we need your new neighbor. He's the chosen one. That's why you're nothing but an autopsy waiting to happen. They won't think twice about killing us. But maybe they want him back bad enough that... He sounded less than convinced by his own words, and I sure didn't know what he was talking about. Maybe was all I could manage when he looked at me for reply. We both laughed nervously. At that strange and uneasy moment, we became like old friends, jailer and prisoner, closer than brothers, comrades in arms, about to go into battle together, maybe for the last time. There we go, finally! My, my personal access code number is 47702, he said. You might be able to use it to get out of a bad spot, but let's hope it never comes down to that. I need to write that down. Um... Why don't we keep a piece of paper here? What is this? I'll write it on a paper towel. It's as good as a piece of paper. Four. Seven, seven, zero, two. Before I even thought about it, I was giving him my last possession, the picture of Lavna. Who's this, the wife? He asked. Not yet, but she will be. You missed that during the search when they brought me here. I could be going home. This absolute miracle was so unlikely and absurd to me that I started giggling like a schoolboy. 
Kanan nodded like he understood and solemnly put the picture away without saying a word. He reached in between the bars of the cell and put something in my hand. Just as he did, I heard the doors to the cell block open and I quickly put it behind my back. Three more guards came into the cell block and opened the door to cell three. The man inside walked out with guns pointed at him. Holding a hand in front of his weakened eyes, the new man slowly walked out of the cell block. The guards followed. As Kanan went, he looked back at me. He flashed me the sign of five. It wasn't until the cell block doors closed again that I allowed myself to even notice the reassuring familiar metallic heaviness in my right hand. A blaster. It was fully charged. Entry 13. We failed. I've been recaptured. Kanan is also a prisoner here now. The man from cell 3 has been the subject of a monstrous experiment. He is no longer human. I don't know what he is now. For some period of time, they've simply been beating me into unconsciousness whenever I show signs of awakening. I suppose they've just gotten tired of it now. Entry 14. Today the guards came for Kanan. He fought as best he could, but in the end they took him away. No sign of life from cell 3. Entry 15. Kanan has been jabbering like a lunatic ever since they brought him back. He keeps screaming some conversation with his mother that must be going on inside his head. I can't see into his cell from here. Entry 16. I was awakened by the sound of an explosion in the cell block. In the cell block, two of the guards went to look in on Kanan. From what I heard, he must have mauled one of them really bad. Entry 17. Kanan continues to get worse. All he does is growl and howl like an animal. Entry 18. The guards have just told me that now it's my turn to be taken back to the operation room. This journal has reached an end. No matter what occurs, know that I always loved you, Lavna. If I should somehow get the chance to write again, I would. End. <laughs> Thank goodness we have the code. All we had to do was read like a whole freaking novel. Now, uh, where's my blue arm? I can't go anywhere without a blue arm. A severed arm. A severed arm. No. A severed arm. This control is Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Now I don't think it did. Imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload. No problem detected against warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. 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 Warning. Oh, okay. I have to do it while the palm is on it. Warning. That's what I use the robot for. Here. Pick that up. Things are making sense now. Oh wait, why um I need to press that button. I forgot we had this annoying sound still happening. Okay. Let's go grab this arm. We got it. Arm obtained.
Okay, we're gonna get the palm of it on the palm reader. You okay? Good enough? I don't know. Stop it. Let's go see. Um, maybe. Four, four, seven, seven, zero, two. No palm detected. Do I have to? Hmm. Know when it's in place. Can I get any closer? I mean, this will just drop it, right? Yeah, I don't want to drop it. Stop! Pick it back up. Can y'all pick it back up, really? Like, I need something to kind of light up when I'm in position or something. Doors. Insufficient weight on floor panel to open door. Okay. So we have a good hand now. Get back, robot. Drop my arm. Jesus. Why do you keep looking at me? Because you're being very loud. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Stealing some potatoes. Just take them to your desk so that you don't have to keep getting up. There's some rice on there. Put some in like a bowl or something so you don't keep crinkling. Here's rice. Well, not yet. Well, thank you. So what are we going to do about this mech? Not that. Prisoner disabled. Medical assistance required. Screw I 
probably die a number of times before I figure out what it wants me to do. So let's see, can we get in here? I'm guessing we should go hand to hand with the... Okay, so we can go in here. What is this? chambers before we start messing with it. Situation critical. Conditions in Chamber 1 are destabilized. Please correct. Cloning alteration accelerated cell growth. What? The sound. how that is in the wrong plane. Oh, this Cyber Raptor sucks. Look at how slow it is. Can it fight the mech? Cannot leave that room. Get out of here. 
Cyber Raptor used Tailwind. It wasn't very effective. Flute can soothe it. Weird game logic, right? Read the rest of these before we do that. And maybe we can give it enough meat? It's combined with a full package of cybernetic enhancements. Being kept frozen because it's too difficult to control, it killed and ate guards 74927, Tavish, and 68304, Mabarak, when its daily feeding was late. It also succeeded in breaking free on one occasion when it killed and ate another experimental test subject, a regenerative plant creature. Despite the substantial quantity of plant matter continuing to regenerate itself inside its digestive tract, thereby sating its hunger, the Cyberaptor is still exhibited violent and aggressive behavior. It apparently kills not merely for food, but for the simple visceral experience of killing. The Cyberaptor should be kept in cold storage until such time as the base is equipped with adequate facilities to study it property properly. This test subject was originally a biologist who was a recipient of numerous brain implants. Tissue types suggest or tissue type tests suggested he would be compatible with cybernetics. He's human. And boring. After having all four limbs removed, subject underwent cellular alterations in order to prevent prosthetic rejection. A mutation resulted, leaving him covered in tumor-like growths. Experiment aborted before prosthetic implanted subject has been lobotomized. Subject is to be kept frozen until such time as its tissue type needs to be compared to that of a possible recurrence of the mutation. Great. A genetic hybrid of a previously unclassified species, an insectoid species. The subject's skin is coated with a highly potent toxin. Although many animal species of Daedalus appear to be immune, toxin is lethal to all humans exposed to it within seconds. The subject's blood contains a heavier concentration of this toxin. It also spits toxin to defend itself. Subject terminated. Keep subject frozen and avoid handling at all costs. The last occupant of this freezer unit has thawed and escaped. Always voraciously hungry. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's go thaw our Velociraptor friend. Maybe if we drop the meat, then we can distract it while we flute it. That nah, sounds... Oh no! We probably lure it onto the closed iris, then open the iris, and then dump the cryofluid on it? Yeah, okay. Let's do this till we start getting Maybe we can actually put the meat down on on the closed. No, I want that. A severed arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hunk of meat. A hunk of meat.
situation critical. Conditions in Tango 1 are destabilized. Please correct. I don't plan on correcting. Severe spoilage. Drop it. Oh, I can't drop it. Okay, it won't let me drop things on the iris. It's like, Warning. do we not Problem use the Nebus law? Situation critical. Conditions in Chamber 1 are destabilized. Please correct. Just put the meat there. Let's see, let's see if it goes for the meat. If it goes for the meat. Warning. Crowd fluids low. Situation critical. Conditions in Chamber 1 are destabilized. Please correct. Wow, it sure gives us a lot of time. Warning. Crowd fluids low. Situation critical. Conditions in Chamber 1 oh, there we are go. destabilized. Please correct. I love its roar. It's like uh, a Yeti roar. Come on, press it! Movement uh. detected on the virus patch. Really? So things can't be moving on the iris patch? A hunk of meat! How do I get it to stay still on it? I don't understand. Error. Movement detected on iris hatch. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I totally thought this was gonna work. gets onto the iris. There's just a pool of blood. Maybe we can put to sleep with the flute. So we can't drop the meat. It has to be something else. Let's get our flute ready. Alt prisoner. Prisoner disabled. Medical assistance required. Does time still pass while we're in our menu? Sure seemed like it. Drop this. Flute. Ready flute. A 
Woot. Oh, hey. Yep. Did you dead, do Dead by Daylight, or what did you what did you stream? Warning. Problems low. Situation critical. Conditions in Chamber oh, okay. 1 are destabilizing. Please correct. Are you still, like, just playing the killer? Try and play a flute for a cyber raptor. Warning. Crowd fluids low. Situation critical. Conditions in chamber one are destabilizing. Please correct. I don't think it wants the arm either, though. Ugh. A hunk of meat. A severed arm. I mean, I don't, though. <laughs> on Iris Hatch. Error. Movement detected on Iris Hatch. I somehow get it to like stay still on the Iris Hatch. I don't know how. I mean, maybe it's something in that other room I can go to. There's another room I can go to. explore that room at all. Prisoner disabled. Medical assistance required. I can do it. Let's see. What are these control panels? 
I can't interact with it. Oh. Um. So I guess we're in some sort of an elevator. What are these glowing red areas? I should have saved. These are probably just like kill drones that will immediately kill me. Let's go to a different floor. We are trying to find something that can deal with cyber raptors. What? Oh, this side of all. I'll probably just get access to that. Maybe something I can access on this floor if I can get past the... That's what I'm dealing with, I guess. Jeez. wait till it passes back the other way. <laughs> it's go time. 
what is this door over here? can't drop anything on the um, iris. Cryo hydrant cannot be operated while iris match is closed. I can't dump the cryo fluid either. Okay, so before I drunk, dump the cryo fluid, can I um, climb down here? Can I walk down that? No! Answer no. It's still just a pool of uh, blood or something. Spoiled meat, really not useful for anything. I still think what we need to do is somehow get it to stay still on top of this platform. Run over here, open the platform, then run over here and dump the cryo fluid on it to refreeze it. I just have no clue how to make it stand still. A hunk of meat!
error. Movement detected on the hour's hatch. Not badly injured though. So that actually accomplished anything at all. I don't know that it did. Biological repair. Oh, oh, we have a way to heal ourselves. Okay. Sweet. I did not even know that. Changes things. I guess we should say it. We can save over an early one.
Chamber two is slightly warmer. It doesn't look like this is draining fluid from any of the other tanks. Accomplish that except except this chamber's empty now. door blocking us now and oh wait 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 can I somehow interact with this machine to change which which chamber I drain the fluid from? Feels like something I should be able to do. Severed arm. Bye. 
string and I can change it. I don't move, you'll still shoot me. Unit to security. Security level core prisoner disabled. Medical assistance required. <laughs> no, don't don't get your arm back. A severed arm. <laughs> I wonder who dropped that there. A fork. Water trip. Has to be some new strat.
walk around the entire room pressing the spacebar hoping something happens. Cyber go down there, I just die instantly. Is there some hatch I can enter? way to climb down instead of falling down? Is this really just that stupid? Oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm dumb and just don't know how to use ladders. So, alright. Had to look up a guide to tell me to use a ladder. Um, let's 
save. Probably one of these choices will be instant death, so... made by that squirt. <laughs> well, I called it. Um, Alright. Is this, uh... Oh, I can't even go in this one. Is there any way to, like, slow? I can use or... <laughs> Okay, so just don't go that way. Fair enough. Going down the slide. No idea why I came down here. Then. Seems like a waste of time. Are what have you done to me? I want answers. Freeze, prisoner. Let me get you back to your cage, animal. Excellent, oh. dog. I order you. Return to your cell. Do you call me dog? What have you done to me? Tell me, damn you. Wow. Only now do you recognize your true masters. <laughs> yeah, bro. to me I want answers freeze prisoner I want answers what have you done to me tell me damn you who are you what have you Take done to me I want answers I'm the master of kicking 
<laughs> Let me get you back no. to the cage, animal. What have you done to me? Tell me, damn you. Tell me, damn you. Body and my mind. I will know why, or I will have your blood. Uh, no, don't drop the blaster. That. Oh, well, I'd much rather have this than the arm. Stop! 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 gun now, so maybe we can shoot that huge uh, robot. Very slowly climb up that ladder. <sighs> That's when I'm safe and figure out how to shoot a blaster. Pad five to some other key. Maybe a Q? That's annoying. Um... Oh, I guess you can't see it, um, but I'm in the DOSBox key mapper right now, trying to figure out how to find numpad 5 to some other key. What is numpad 5 if you don't have numpad, num, numlock on? 
just a blank key? in a numpad keyboard because I go to rebind and like I can find the key but I have to press that key to do so and I can't press the numpad 5 button Alex! Alex, you here? There's a bread emergency. I'll be right back.
Let's see if this worked. Where did my DOS box window go? Hopefully we don't have limited ammo. It's a PFD prototype. Do I have to keep a second keyboard here now? Okay, now it works. Let's just see how much we can shoot this. Do we have a limit? Well, it doesn't seem to be using up our energy. this next time. Shot 
myself in the chest. Okay, that kind of works. We're gonna have to load again, I think. I'm like a horse in oblivion. Tactical saving.
got real lucky. Um, there's some I've got off target. Geometry. Are we not hitting him anymore? Oh, I thought we were hitting him. Oh, no, 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 way to do this. Okay. Please! 
Power gun no. offline. Power gun offline. Please. 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 Turn on the main gun, damn you. Kill me. I'll activate the gun. Okay, I was not paying attention. I didn't realize I could swing it. I thought we were already pointing at it, though. Dude, I can almost shoot you.
No! accept that. So it takes a lot of shots to get Prisoner this. disabled. Medical assistance required. We have to find like that perfect angle where we can hit it, but it can't hit us. So we did manage to shoot ourselves, but uh, 
Uh, there has to be some other way for us to heal. Them. I feel like I should reload. Especially since we didn't actually accomplish anything by killing it. We have a rough idea how many shots it takes. Maybe we can deal with. Please secure all sidearms. Energy discharges in this chamber are extremely hazardous. Please don't hit me. Yes. Robots can't deal with this. Eat light, you stupid machine. Eat light. Look at my shiny metal ass. This was this panel. So there's something that we cannot survive in the radiation, uh, or in the reactor. Data. Reactor approaching critical state. What is this, though? Oh. There you are. Come in. You have no choice in the matter, I assure.
Don't let them put me back together. I don't want to be walking around like you. Just do it. Kill me! Who are you? That's not how we kill it. A medical device. Nothing else about it? What are we doing? Battery current insufficient for capacitor charge. Project was initiated by the Prime Paragon on D96 Daedalus mission calendar to develop a prototype assassin fully augmented AFA. The typical AFA instrument will be a near perfect physical specimen fitted with a complete range of cybernetics, a walking arsenal that will, once the final stages of development have been completed, be able to mingle undetected and interact in a human normal population. The AFA series of Man devices will fulfill an important role in the advancement of the Mondite movement, carrying out a variety of missions, including but not limited to security, espionage, political assassinations, within and beyond the environment of the reticulum. This glorious goal heralds the first true steps in our path of self-determined evolution. The FA project will be carried out in four stages. Stage 1 involves the successful development of a fully integrated cybernetic organism. A desirable AFA candidate will be res resistant to prosthetic re rejection with a metabolism that can withstand extreme chemical and surgical treatments. Augmentations will endow the subject with extra human strength, endurance, and reaction time, simultaneously keeping the subjects safe and the installation secure will no doubt present base personnel with numerous unexpected challenges. A secondary line of research during this stage of the project is to expand upon the previously developed genetic engineering techniques of the RF-427 project, as well as the ABA, Assassin Biologically Augmented Project. This will benefit both projects immeasurably. It will enable us to develop a more robust candidate through progressive gene swapping. Elaborate DNA slash RNA mapping will alert us to potential candidate deficiencies so that the developmental problems can be immediately addressed. Stage 2 will move our candidates through a series of treatments that will completely wipe their memories. Currently in... Currently, an experimental surgical technique is being considered for this phase of the project, but it's an extremely delicate procedure. If it leads to the development of unwanted side effects, we are equipped to switch to the standard electroshock method. However, if this is achieved, this will no doubt leave subjects with a highly stressed and disoriented state. It is at this point that a subject will be the most dangerous and difficult to control. Various mimetic analog insignia will be implanted and recalled to indicate... Um. 
I swear, I'm not trying to put it away. At this stage, there may also be additional data implants designed to speed up the candidate's progress through the third stage. Stage 3 involves relocating candidates from this base to another installation to participate in a broad-based training program ranging from use of military hardware to mandate, mandate philosophy to covert actions. At this stage, candidates will be turned over to the hands of other units. Stage 4 involves the full physical and electronic camouflage of all the prosthetics, plastic surgery for the purposes of establishing new identities, and specialized customization, maintenance and upgrade refitting. Various elements of the camouflage being developed for the AFA project have yet to be fully and successfully implemented. This stage will most likely occur at whatever particular base of operation an instrument is assigned. If initial operations are successful, Daedalus will become an assembly plant and preliminary staging area for all future AFA candidates. Due to its extreme isolation and the fact that its existence is unknown to the reticulum. Progress Report 1 I find it somewhat startling that the implications for the advancement of the Mondite movement, which are inherent in the AFA project, are not yet recognized. The unification of man and technology represent a liberation from the flesh, a heretofore unattainable state that is central to teachings of the Prime Paragon. I shall demonstrate this more clearly once the project has been taken to its successful conclusion. Progress Report 2 so far, the preparation for creating the first AFA candidates has gone well. Out of 260 potential test subjects, we have determined that 13 will be suitable for first stage implementation. This is significantly higher than the original estimated figure of 2%. As of this writing, all non-suitable test subjects have been expanded. Progress Report 3 after a fairly substantial amount of deliberation, I have finally decided upon a suitable form of mimetic analog insignia. My mother was an orchestral flutist, and one of my earliest childhood memories is watching her perform. I have programmed the biological operative instructions for several of her favorite pieces into an RNA Doppler chip that will be implemented into implement, Im, implanted into all Stage 2 AFA candidates. That way it will be a fairly easy matter to determine if subjects have been successfully mind-wiped. They will be able to play the flute. Today I've performed the first of the operations. A wondrous new age has begun. I have witnessed the torturous, bloody intercourse of anatomy and machinery, and ministered to the birth of its first generation. As spoke the philosopher, Here's to the new age of gods and monsters. Progress Report 5 So far, much of our work and our designs have functioned as well or better than expected. But success has eluded us. There have been physiological complications, many we have not foreseen. But I'm confident we can overcome those. There are other difficulties that I find more disturbing. Our subjects have not responded well to the program. Like animals raised in captivity, they go into shock when removed from their cages for the first time. In this case, their cage is the physical limitations of their own bodies. They become savage and animalistic, or lapse into a dangerous delusionary state. These worthless, ungrateful cattle... Oh... Oh, how dare you... Ban... Away with you. These worthless and ungrateful cattle have no understanding of what is happening. They do not appreciate the gift we are bestowing upon them. There's nothing more to be done with them to move into stage two as soon oh, than to move into stage two as soon as feasibly possible. Progress report six. The mind wipe operation is extremely difficult. I could not successfully complete it on my first two attempts. 
Since then, I've discovered one usual side effect. The mind wipe widens the rift, perhaps temporarily, between the conscious and the subconscious mind. This side effect manifests itself in an extreme way. Test subjects become desperate to write things down. Some even bite at their own fingers to write in blood on the walls. No sooner do they finish writing than they immediately look over what they've written. None of them seem to recognize or remember their own writing. It seems the subconscious mind, now isolated from the sensation, thought, and memory of current experience, becomes desperate to re-establish communication with the conscious mind. It makes me curious to test the procedure on an illiterate subject. I will include any more observations of this phenomena in further reports. It remains to be seen if the procedure will have any settling effect on the subjects concerning their physiological unbalance. Progress Report 7 After numerous further attempts, there has been no progress in overcoming the psychological trauma attached to the procedure. This is something that could not be anticipated. To acquire life above and beyond the flesh is the path toward which all humanity has been striving for centuries. Yet when that goal appears to be achieved, the result is insanity. So, so far, every subject I have operated upon has fallen prey to this malady, which I call metamorphosis-induced schizophrenia, a fear of being changed that manifests itself through a dangerously distorted sense of reality. This condition, while initially psychological, triggers a severe alteration of brain chemistry that has rendered every subject we have worked with completely useless. Progress Report 8 out of sheer frustration, I'm shifting over to some of the genetics work. I'm putting the surgical assembly of AFA prototypes on hold for the foreseeable future. Search teams have discovered numerous fascinating and unusual animal species living in and around the Mount Sion crater. I doubt that any such work will lead to a solution to the metamorphosis more metamorphosis-related schizophrenia problem, but for now I will welcome the opportunity to occupy my mind with a fresh set of problems. Progress Report 9. We have manufactured a startling variety of curiosities. If only our goal had been to produce a number of original attractions for a carnival, then I would feel perfectly confident in declaring our project a success right now. Progress Report 10. There's a species of insect on this planet, like a carrion beetle, which has a short stubby tail with a stinger on the tip of it. This species is capable of reproducing asexually and normally lays eggs when it has accumulated too many for the capacity of its body. Most of these eggs die because they require a warm, dark, humid place for them to hatch successfully, and there are few places that meet those requirements on the surface of Daedalus. So this beetle locates a victim to sting and injects its eggs under the skin of another living creature. The eggs are provided with a living hatchery that provides the absolute perfect conditions for them to develop and hatch successfully. While handling the specimens we have acquired, technician uh, while handling the specimens we have acquired, technician Odon was stung. The eggs are microscopic and completely undetectable until they grow and hatch, and by then it was far too late. Odon had come down with what the others here called hatching fever. The body attempts to kill off the eggs like it was fighting an infection. In fact, it only makes the host body more accommodating. I stayed with Odon through a series of his convulsions. He pleaded with me to help him in such a desperate manner that I found it somewhat difficult to assure him that there was nothing I could do. He became loudly vocal in his agony. Odon was shouting about how he wanted to live, about some woman from his past, about all the things he wanted to do with his life. Many of the others could hear him, and I was afraid that it might begin to affect the morale of the team. So I opened up the back of his skull and attempted to perform the mind wipe procedure. He was certain to die anyway, and I thought it better to learn on Odon instead of potentially damaging one of the AFA candidates. The operation went more smoothly than I thought. At first I was afraid that his agitated immune system might reject the RNA Doppler chip, but such fears proved to be unfounded. Odon was still many hours away from death, and when he awoke, I was delighted to discover that his panic was gone. 
with virtually no past memories left to relate his experiences to, he has no apparent negative reactions to being devoured from the inside out by the carrion beetles. I stayed with him until the end. We were able to watch and experience together the creatures burrowing their way out of his body for what it was, a miracle of birth, in its own way as beautiful as the birth of any human flesh. He died playing the flute. It was a very stirring sonata, often played by my mother. Hearing it again after so many years brought tears to my eyes. It wasn't until several hours had passed that I realized I had already come up with the solution for the metamorphosis-related schizophrenia problem. Perform stage 2 first. Progress Report 11. Inspired by the progress of an engineer in using fixed technology to create a flying vehicle, I'm now determined to utilize various other elements of the fixed technology in developing my AFA prototype. Progress Report 12. I know that this will be our first successful candidate. Today, it looked into my eyes, and I had no words for it. After all, what does one say when one looks into the eyes of his creation? What does one say when he has encountered his evolutionary superior? I must begin again, immediately. I only have one potential test subject left, so I must hurry. If all goes well before this day is out, I shall have my second success. Progress Report 13. A reanimated fixed soldier has escaped from the cell block. In less than an hour, it has single-handedly devastated our base. All surviving personnel are being evacuated. I shall join them, but not before I finish this operation. Whew, sweet! Biodata. The following material is restricted to command level personnel or higher. All those without proper clearance must stop reading at this point. Uh, the following are overviews of ABA case histories, assembled in random order, with all mentions of time or specific order or identity of the subject deleted, in accordance with the prior established security procedure. Oh, I can't go any further? Oh, no, I can. Vidor Selmak. Wait. Oh. With all mentions of time or specific order or identity of the subject deleted, this gives the identity's name. I mean, the subject's name. Isn't that identifiable information? Identity of the subject? It's Vidor Selmak. AFA Cybernetics, stages 1 and 2, comments none. Did that say? Um, yeah, so what does it have to say about Kanan? A guard assigned to the Daedalus base caught while attempting to betray the project in the movement. It was deemed that killing him outright would simply be a waste of resources considering he fits the requirements of an APA prototype candidate. He was never considered a serious contender. Lol. Poor him. Morgan Blade. A mercenary. Morgan Blade. Tomic Sarda. Convicted multiple murderer from the Asgard system. Okay. I'm so annoyed right now. 
Oh, Sonia. An attempt to genetically cross a human with a very rare sort of mammalian predator. Interesting. APA full implementation. Subject was paid to participate in an experiment. ABA Biological Stage 1. So which one of these is us? Scientist. So I'm assuming we're AFA and probably both stages one and two. code. Yeah, I didn't say medical security codes in there. Damn it. So we have a healing device. Hold a maximum of five doses. Did we already waste a couple of doses? Oh wow. Have we read and um, written anything else in our journal? I don't know. It's not letting me read it. Journal, journal. Oh, we should have probably been looking at this for like little hints on what to do next. I may be able to use this utensil for something that I don't mean to eat with. So that's the fourth. These tremors feel extremely severe. Why isn't anyone coming to check on me in person? Something's gone wrong here. I'm in danger. Is there anybody out there? The voices over the radio said another prisoner has escaped. Who are those reinforcements coming to kill, me or him? I know how to play the flute. I can play songs I don't remember ever hearing before, yet they echo in the back of my mind. It's the closest thing that I have to a memory of my past life. Perhaps if I listen more closely, I will remember. I can see a gun inside of cell number two. I could get it if only I knew how to shut off the force virus. There's a tunnel burrowed into the floor of the cell and its occupant is gone. I wonder where it leads. I don't recognize the girl in this photo, and I don't think it belongs to my one-armed friend. She must mean something to someone here. Yeah, to Dane. Am I the person in cell 3 that Dane wrote about in his journal? If I am, then they tried to rescue me. Maybe Dane can help me escape if he's still alive, and if I can find him. Yeah, okay, the hand must be in here at the same time. Whatever this other escaped prisoner was, it sure made a hell of these uh, hell out of made hell out of these tanks. Maybe this thing and I are on the same side. Those ships were full of soldiers who would have recaptured me had I let them land. Oh, come on. Now let's not lose my place in this. But now I've shot those ships down, how do I get off this rock? I'm willing to let that cowardly tower guard live. I hope I won't, won't regret this decision. 
If someone doesn't go in there and stabilize the reactor, it's going to blow. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around who's qualified for the job. There's some sort of super-powered killing machine inside me. What am I? That Mastaba put me together in such a way that he has almost complete control of my mind, body, and senses. That makes him too dangerous to live. I can feel the spray from this bottle reinvigorating my flesh. I found Dane, or what was left of him. I put him out of his misery just like he asked. May he rest in peace. This is a strange looking battery. It appears to be similar to the one I have in my body. What battery? Who could perform these experiments on living people? This Dr. Mastaba is an inhuman psychopath. If I understand this correctly, one of the people listed in one of these files it has to be me. I wonder which one. I also wonder which one. Uh, also, what the hell battery did we pick up? Battery? What's with that battery? I don't see no battery. Oh, so this was poor Dane. I want my blaster. destroy the reactor. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, I don't want us to blow up. We shot down the reinforcements. They were our only chance. You people deserve to die after what you did to me. Take care of the reactor, but first, I'm going to take care of you. No, no, we can't let him get a combo. I may be dead anyway, but at least I get to send you first. Oh no, when will I save? Oh, it's 10. I'm going to sign off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sign off for now. I will play more of this on Thursdays until I complete it. On Tuesdays, we're going to do more Alien Legacy, and on Saturday, um, Soldier of Fortune. So yeah, cool. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Later.